Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you some history with the mysterious historical figure of Count Saint Germain. We actually don't have much reliable information on his life, but most accounts say he was born in 1690. He traveled through different European countries, but his time at the French court was particularly significant. Saint Germain was associated with prestigious personalities like Casanova, Madame de Pompadour, Voltaire, and King Louis XV. With his knowledge and quick wit, Saint Germain charmed people wherever he went. He was a musical composer and a capable violinist. He had an extensive knowledge of science and history and was fluent in many languages. But the art he mastered more than anything else is alchemy. To this day, many esoteric groups honor Saint Germain as a supernatural being or an ascended master. Just like some alchemists sought to change lead metal into gold, spiritual alchemists like Saint Germain were committed to transmuting the lead of negativity into the gold of divinity. They practiced the alchemy of self transformation to raise the lower self and unite with the higher self. And that's what the violet flame is about. I have talked about karma before, but if you're not familiar with it and if you're interested, I'll link a few videos down below. Anyway, the idea is that we all carry karma, but it's not a punishment or an eternal sin. It's just the result of specific past actions. And it's our job to resolve it. We exist in this world right now to make it happen. We have the power and the tools to mend what we have broken and bring peace and harmony where it's needed. Also, there are layers of awareness and the more we grow in our spiritual journey, the more we will access higher forms of healing like the violet flame. But since we have incarnated in a body and live in a very practical, pragmatical dimension, I think we should always remember that it makes absolutely no sense to pray, meditate, do Reiki or whatever if how we act in our everyday life with our family, friends, colleagues, neighbors isn't aligned with that spiritual vision. It all starts with small but authentic acts of kindness, love, forgiveness, patience and responsibility carried out day after day. There's no energy work or meditation that alone can cancel out selfishness, arrogance, or any other misconduct. Having said that, the violet flame is a precious gift that Saint Germain has shared with the world and that allows us to cleanse our energetic field and our karma. It's a meditation that works through the visualization of this violet flame. As usual, the stronger your intention, the more focused you are, the more powerful the visualization will be. So you sit down, crossed legs if possible, you take a few deep breaths, you take some time to relax and silence the chatter of your mind. Then, when you're ready, you visualize this beautiful violet flame passing through your body. And you watch as what no longer serves you or holds you back disappear. It may be stress, anger, frustration, anxiety, trauma. You decide what needs to be let go. The violet flame is a very high frequency and burns what is low energy. In other words, what makes you feel happy, stuck, hopeless or helpless. And that's how we feel when we are faced with complex karmic situations. But being on a spiritual path means realizing that you are not your anxiety or the happiness you feel on your heart. It means realizing that you have the power to transform and transmute negative energy into positive energy, struggle into growth and power. We can do that. You can do that. I encourage you to give the violet flame a chance because it's so powerful. And do let me know your experience in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Holy Spirit